after I got so many great messages on YouTube about the RAM testing video I uploaded yesterday. See, I've got four sticks going here now. Dun, 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 dun. I thought I'd do an update video just to address a lot of the questions and concerns and comments that you guys had. So as you can see, I did finish my 24 hour test with the three modules I had before, which were running in triple channel. Just want to clarify this. Someone was a little bit confused about uh, how you can run triple channel in a quad channel motherboard. So to clarify guys, any dual channel motherboard is capable of running single channel. Any triple channel motherboard is capable of running dual channel or single channel. And any quad channel motherboard is capable of running single, dual, or triple, or quad channel. So the way that you do that is you populate the DIMM slots in the correct order. So here you can see we've got A1 and B1 right there. So if you wanted to run in dual channel, you'd go A1, B1. Then, if you wanted to run in triple channel, you'd populate C1. And if you wanted to run in quad channel, you'd populate D1. So there you go. That's how you do it. Right now it's running in quad channel because I do have four memory sticks in here. I also had a lot of people commenting on the fact that I wasn't using Memtest 86. Memtest 86 is awesome. Great memory diagnostic utility. It runs before the operating system, which is really, really good. It tests all of the memory and it throws up big red errors if it detects anything. The problem is that the issue I was having was not being detected by Memtest 86. So the reason I was stubbornly using Prime 95 is because I don't, I'm a little bit old school and I'm not using uh, Linux or Linpack or any of the other sort of Intel burn tests. These are all tools that I haven't really used that much. Plus, I knew that I could consistently reproduce the errors on these sticks with a Prime 95 test after a certain amount of time. This is just a test bench. This is not my main machine, so I'm not that concerned with it not being running at any given moment. So the fact that Memtest 86 wasn't working for me is what prompted me to use Prime 95. If Memtest works to detect the error that you're getting, then that's great. However, there are even times Prime 95 detects nothing. Memtest 86 comes up with errors in like five seconds. So you can never really predict which tool is going to be the one that is going to find the problem with what you're doing. Although people in the comments are right. Generally speaking, Memtest 86 is the first one to go for. They have all kinds of awesome ways to run it. So you can just burn the ISO to a CD, which is what I usually do just because I'm lazy. Um, or they actually have, see, I just didn't want to empty a USB drive. They have a USB drive creator. So you just throw a blank USB drive in and it will go ahead and fix all that up for you. So, uh, right, what other people asked that was really, really, really good. Yes, this is a really good one. So people, a lot of people asked, how did you rule out the motherboard, the CPU, the power supply, all that stuff. So this is a very important part of any sort of troubleshooting scenarios. You gotta make sure, am I actually isolating the right component? So I knew it was the RAM because I'd had this motherboard with this CPU, with this power supply running with this Kingston HyperX memory at these speeds, so 1600, uh, C9, 1T command rate, all of that good stuff. So that's how I ruled out the motherboard. That's how I ruled out the CPU and the power supply. You got to rule out things like heat. I'm running on an open test platform with airflow directly over the fan or the RAM itself. So we can pretty much rule out heat. How do you rule out your RAM settings? Well, because this memory was running at these settings in the past. So that's how I know that it should be fine, assuming nothing's gone wrong with it in the meantime. So these are my two dead ones. This one, errors in Prime 95. This one, errors in a multi-channel configuration eventually. Aha, that's another one. I had a lot of people commenting, Linus, you idiot. Why didn't you just run one stick at a time? Guys, if you'd watched the video, you'd know I had already run all of the sticks individually. This stick, the one right there on the left, passes on its own, but as soon as you put it in a multi-channel configuration, it the entire thing fails. Whereas all of these sticks all together in a multi-channel config are not failing. So that's how I know that this guy right here with the duct tape is dead. That one on the left is borderline, which is not good enough. It's for all intents and purposes dead, but it's much harder to catch compared to one that's just outright dead, doesn't post, or causes blue screens right away. So I think that pretty much covers it. Thank you for checking out this sort of updated video on diagnosing memory. I hope this clear, clears up some of the questions you guys had. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos.
I love this camera. I'm using the FS700 today. I was using the XA10 last time. The mic's terrible, though. I don't have my uh, lapel mic. I'm using the shotgun mic that's on the top, so... Before you complain about the audio, just... I know, it's the wrong mic. It's bad. Oh well, you'll get over it. I'm sorry, one more thing. In spite of my warnings to the contrary, I did have a couple people saying, Oh, my RAM is stable enough. It works in games, and just because it fails in Prime 95 after an hour doesn't mean it's not stable. Yes, it does. It means it's not stable. It isn't stable. It's not good enough. Uh, if it ever crashes when your computer's doing something critical, it can completely corrupt your entire OS and make it non-bootable. The odds of that happening? I don't know. You roll that die. Uh, last thing is it has to be stable in every in every stress test. It has to be stable in Prime, stable in Memtest, stable in Linux. A stable system is stable and doesn't make mistakes. When I'm done this Prime 95 test, just for good measure, because remember that fourth stick has been in my wife's machine, so I, for all I know it's dead too. So I'm going to run the whole thing through Memtest 86 again once I'm done here in order to reassure myself that all of this is working completely 100% before I redeploy it in a system. And another thing I forgot, I had a lot of people saying, Linus, you have so much memory, why don't you just throw it away and buy new memory? Memory is so cheap. What are you, crazy? Throw away hardware? Jeez. Way to be, money bags. No, you don't throw away hardware. You test it, you see if it works. If it works, you keep it. If it doesn't work... Then you throw it away.